Hey guys, this is Rachel from Cypress Textiles, and today we're going to be making the Andromeda Galaxy motif from the 2022 Vivi Cow. Um, this sample I have right here is in Shape Just River Washed, but I'm going to be using Katona for the demo. Okay, so first you're just going to get your slip knot and your three chains or a magic circle, magic ring, whatever you prefer, or you can chain four however you prefer to do it, and then slip stitch in the third chain from the hook to make your ring. And now in the ring, the first thing we're gonna do is make a single crochet and chain one, or chain two. All right, single crochet, chain two. And then you're gonna make a popcorn. So do four double crochet in the ring. And then once you're done with your four double crochet, just release the loop from the hook and oops. all right release the loop from the hook and insert your hook front to back through the first of the four double crochet and then grab the loop and pull it through to the front to close your popcorn all right and now we're going to chain two and single crochet in the ring and then chain two, and now we're gonna make another popcorn. And so our repeat is going to be, make your popcorn, chain two, single crochet in the ring, chain two, make your popcorn, chain two, single crochet in the ring, chain two. And you're gonna do that until you have three popcorns, three single crochet, and six chain spaces. All right, and I'll show you how that looks once I'm finished. Okay, so I'm done with my round. All I have to do is join my round. So you see I have my three popcorns here and the chain twos are kind of hidden and that's um, on purpose. So your um, single crochet is the stitches you're gonna work into for the next round. So to close the round, I'm just going to do a slip stitch in the first single crochet. And then I'm gonna start my next round in that same stitch. So the same stitch as the slip stitch, I'm going to start with a beginning 2DC cluster. So I'm going to go straight in with a single crochet and chain one and then a double crochet. And that is your first 2DC cluster of the round. Now we're going to chain three and then we're going to make a single crochet in the popcorn. And the way I, I like to work into a popcorn is just to find the um, the loop that you use to close your popcorn and kind of just make sure you go right in the middle of the popcorn there and then make your single crochet. Okay, chain three. All right, and then 2DC cluster in the next single crochet. So just yarn over, pull up a loop, draw the yarn through two loops on the hook and repeat that. And then you've got three loops on your hook. So just draw the yarn through all three loops to close your 2DC cluster. And then you're ready to chain three, single crochet in the next popcorn. And you're into your repeat now. So just chain three, 2DC cluster in the next single crochet. And then chain three, single crochet in the next popcorn. Okay, and then you're ready to chain three and now your round is finished. You just have to join into the first um, the beginning 2DC cluster. So just grab these front two loops of the full double and then work your slip stitch into that spot. All right, so now round two is finished. And for the next round, we have our um, six chain spaces and we have six stitches. We've got our popcorns and our, uh, well, we have the single crochet that's worked into the popcorns and then the two DC clusters. So how we're gonna work this next round is we're just gonna make three single crochet in each chain space and then three single crochet in each of these six stitches as well. So I'm just gonna get started jumping straight into the chain space with three single crochet. And now I've got a single here. I'll just make three single crochet in that. 
and we're gonna make a little hexagon with this. In our next chain space, three single crochet, and the next 2DC cluster, three single crochet. All right, so this is a pretty simple round, and here's how we're looking so far, and I'll show you how it looks when it's finished. Okay, so here's how that round looks when it's done, and our next round is going to be some double crochets and chain space in between. So what we're gonna do first to start the next round is just slip stitch into the next stitch. And make sure your slip stitch is not too tight because you're gonna travel over to the very next stitch. So into the next stitch, make a single crochet chain one. So beginning double crochet there. That's your first DC of the round. And then you're gonna chain one, skip one, and now you're in a corner. So in your corner, you're gonna do double crochet, chain one, double crochet. All right, so now we're gonna do a chain one, skip one, double crochet. Two times. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. And then you're gonna chain one, skip one, and then work your corner again. So. DC, chain one, DC. All right, and I'll just show you how that looks so far because this is a pretty simple repeat. Just make sure that whenever you chain one and skip one, um, when it's time to get in your corner, just make sure that you're in one of these single crochet from this three single group right here. So here is how it looks so far and I'll show you how it looks once I get back to the beginning. All right, here's that round. Um, I haven't joined yet, but I just wanted to show you as well, when you make this final double crochet, you're gonna work into the single crochet and just ignore that slip stitch. So to join your round, you're gonna join into the chain of the double crochet and make sure that you go into just this bottom loop and leave these top parts of the loop alone, and that way you don't get this big gap. If you join just right here, you'll have a big hole. So just make sure that you join just right there with the slip stitch. And now you're ready to start the next round, which is very easy. It's just make a single crochet in every stitch and every space around. And once you get to the corners, you're still just gonna make one single crochet. So it's literally just one single crochet in every stitch and space. Okay, so I did go ahead and join with the slip stitch for the round, and you will see because we didn't make corners, there is a little bit of cupping, but it will disappear on the next couple of rounds. So the first thing we're gonna do to start the next round is make a single crochet in the same stitch as your slip stitch join, and then make a treble crochet in the next stitch. And now, you can see that it looks like it's too tall, and that's because you're going to kind of push this treble crochet to the front with your finger, and then squash it down and make a single crochet in the next stitch. And so now you have a bobble on the front of your work. And if you wanna work this round from the wrong side because you feel like it makes your bobbles stand out more, you're more than welcome to just turn your work over and work it on the wrong side, just like we did on the Gleese motif from this crochet along. Um, but for this one, I decided to keep it with right side facing because I wanted to give you an alternate way to make these treble bobbles on the front of your work. So when you make your treble crochet in the next stitch, just make sure when you squish it down, if you just squish it, just like um, it want, it has a propensity to just go to the back. So you can see that right there, if I don't push it to the front, it ends up on the back. And that's why it's so much easier to kind of make these on the wrong side. But I know a lot of y'all don't like to turn your work over to the other side. So you're, you can just squish it to the front and it still works. So make your treble, push it to the front. And then when you make your next single, just make sure that everything is tightened up and you'll have your bobbles on the front side. All right, so for this round, you're just gonna alternate between treble crochet and single crochet all the way around. And what you just wanna make sure of, because you're not making corners on this round either, um, you're just working, alternating as if it was a circle. So the only thing you wanna look out for is that in your corner stitch, 
So that's the single crochet that's in a chain from your DC chain one DC corners from a couple rows ago. So you've got these V stitch corners here and you've got a single crochet in that and make sure that stays as your corner that it has a single crochet in it. So make sure that your treble doesn't end up in that corner. And if it does, it means that you've got off by one and you just need to make sure you start in the correct spot at the beginning. All right, so just alternate single crochet treble all the way around till you're done. Okay, so here's how our round looks. And you should have 24 um, single crochet and 24 trebles in um, this round. So now what we're gonna do is make a chain round and we only have three rounds left on this hexagon. So go straight into the stitch that you joined into with a single crochet and chain two and skip the treble and single crochet in the next single. So that's all you're gonna do for this round is just single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the next single. And you're gonna skip straight over all your treble stitches. And um, for this round, and the next round, if you do find that Andromeda is too small, you can always do chain three on these rounds. I just did chain two because when I did chain three, my Andromeda was too large. So it just depends on how big you make your chains whenever you make chains. So if you find out that Andromeda is too small after you're finished, you can frog and do chain three on these rounds instead and see how that works. All right, so I joined with the slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round, and now I'm ready to start on the next round with a slip stitch in the first chain. So I don't work into the chain space, I actually slip stitch into the chain itself, and then make a single crochet in the same chain space. And now you're gonna look for these V-stitch corners again, just to make sure that you do find your corner. So. We didn't make corners in the last three rounds, so we still have to locate this V-stitch from like three rounds ago to um, make sure we have our corner straight from four rounds ago, actually. So now we're going to chain two and single crochet, chain three, single crochet into this actual single from our corner. All right, so single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the same single. And that's gonna make our corner. So now we're gonna get back to a hexagon again. All right, so now chain two and single crochet in the next chain space. Chain two, single in the next chain space. Across until you are in the chain space right before your V-stitch corner. So you can see I'm back at a corner again. So I've got a chain two here and I'm ready to work into the single crochet with single chain three single. And I'll let you guys see the side so you can see where all the stitches get placed and count the loops and make sure you have the same amount of loops and all that. So, all right. So here's how we're looking so far. And I have chain three in the corner just to make sure that we get a nice hexagon. Um, you can chain two in the corner also, but this is how it looks after it's done when you chain three. So it has more of a point in the corner. And here's how the side looks. All right, and then just keep continuing around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, so my round is finished and I've counted my chain three corners just to make sure I do have six corners. Um, and I've made a slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. And so now I'm ready to do the final round for this motif. So the way that we're gonna do this round is just two single crochet in the first chain space, three single crochet in the corner, two single crochet in the next chain space. And then you're gonna do kind of a repeat of working in the chain spaces only. You're gonna do two singles, three singles, two singles. And that's gonna be 12 times around your motif. So it's gonna be 
two, three, two, two, three, two. Two, three in the corner, and then two, and then two again, three on the side, and two. So you're just gonna be chanting two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, all the way around your motif. And you can see how it really, even though you've worked like three rounds in here with no corners, it really gets back to a hexagon on these last couple rounds. And here's how it looks when it's finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this motif and I will see you for the next one.